Hi, this is Angela Arnold, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about how to resize your images. I have found a software which is free, and it's a great software to use if you want to resize photographs to create um, slideshows or for any other purpose you might have. It's called VSO Image Resizer, and I am right now, if you look at my screen, I am right now on the VSO software download page. I have already downloaded the software, but this is the website that you would need to go to if you want to download the software. So it's http colon two forward slashes www.vso-software.fr forward slash products forward slash image and then an underscore resizer forward slash download dash image dash resizer dot php and if that's too much for you to remember um, just do a google search for vso image resizer and a lot of different websites will show up and you just click one of them onto the download link and you'll be taken to a page where you can download the software uh, it's free and like i said it's um, a really good godsend for um, resizing images for slideshows and any other pretty much any other application you want to use it for now if you do have a digital camera and you get your photographs um, processed developed printed uh, at a, a Walmart or a store like that generally when you get your photographs on the CD the CD will have uh, phot photographic manipulation software on there so you can probably resize your images using those too and any graphics program like um, Photoshop or photo elements and those types of things will probably have resizing software also so let's pretend that I have already um, downloaded the software, which I have. I'm going to show you how to now use it to resize your images. So I'm going to minimize this screen and I'm going to take a look at some uh, software. I mean, at some photographs so I can resize them. All right. Now, let's go right here. This is my desktop. Let's open up this. This is a photograph of a woman, and if we look at the properties on this, we can see that this, uh, excuse me, this photograph is 500 pixels by 500 pixels. So it's 500 pixels wide, 500 pixels high, and it occupies 57.7 kilobytes. Now let's say that I want to use it uh, in an application, and my photograph has to be bigger than that. So all I do is right click onto the photo. You'll see that the link for the VSO image resizer is right here. So I right click on that link and this pops up. So I can close these first two. I close that. I don't want to search, search for an updated version because I just got this and this is updated. Now the default quality is 90%. I like to have my pictures go for the top if possible. So I'm going to go for 100%. And I need to have um, my photograph a little bit larger. So let's just say I'm going to go for 2,000, oops, 2,000 pixels. And I'm going to go for 2,000 pixels here too. So I'm not going to use the default profile. The default profile is 1680 times 1050, and that's what they consider to be good um, desktop resolution. If you're putting pictures on the web, usually you don't need high resolution photographs, and you can go for much smaller than that. But let's pretend that I'm going to go for a big 2000 by 2000. Uh, right here, I'm going to keep the aspect ratio the same so that the length and width are going to be locked in in proportion and I'm not going to end up with a photograph that's too wide and, and distorted or too tall and distorted. And if I go here, I can click to create copies or I can resize the original. And generally, I want to create copies because I'm not sure, um, I'm not sure that I am going to have a good quality image and I want to make sure that my original stays intact. So now I'm going to just click OK to resize the image 
And if you look here, I have gained almost 2,000%. So that photograph is more than twice, almost twice as big as it was before in terms of pixels by pixels. Let's close it up and see what the new image looks like. All right, here it is right here. Um, and if I right click on it, it's going to, oops, excuse me. If I right click on this, it's going to give me the dimensions. I mean, if I just hover over it. So I see the dimensions. Boy, that's gained a lot. It's 2,000 pixels by 2,000 pixels. And now it's 1.04 megabytes. So that's a huge increase. Let's double click on it. You see that the photograph still looks great. It looks fantastic, but it, I can use that in a big application. And this is my original. I'm going to put them side by side. So you can see that I haven't lost any quality at all. And I've gained a whole bunch of pixels. So I can use this picture on the left, the resized image on a, a poster or something like that if I wanted to. And this other image is still great to go in small applications. So that's it. That's how you use the VSO imagery sizer. As you can see, it's quite simple. And you can use it for the other things that we'll go into a little later.